Hi guys, this is Jerry with here to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to enable PBO and Auto as your Ryzen Master. You can actually do it through BIOS systems, but with the BIOS systems, you once you change the settings, it always stays there. Then you want if you want to change it, you will have to go back to BIOS settings and change everything to its default settings. But before you do that, um, sometimes you you might be wondering if it's even worth uh, overclocking your CPU, like you know 3700x, 3800x. So in that case, it's better to use Ryzen Master because you just need to choose the option and click Apply and Test, then it runs with the new settings. So with the auto receipts, you can actually set an offset clock speed, then that actually lets you push your CPU to its limit and sometimes even beyond it, like, you know, for example, if your CPU's boost clock is 4,400 megahertz, then with the maximum uh, offset clock speed of 200 megahertz you can actually sometimes you could hit around uh, 4600 megahertz that's how it works so but however before you enable auto OC make sure you have a decent uh, cooler and not as top cushion but you can definitely try you know because if anything goes wrong in most cases CPU will shut down and your PC will shut down and restart. Once you restart, everything will go back to its uh, default settings. But you can always play around these settings. That's how it works. So now I'm going to start Ryzen Master. You need to download the latest version of Ryzen Master for this. Then uh, you have a warning here. So damages caused by use of your AMD processor outside of official factory settings are not covered under any AMD product warranty. You see that? So they give you these tools, but if it actually causes any damage to your CPU or any of your PC components, it's not covered under MT product warranty. So make sure if you really want to play around this, okay? So click OK. So there are two views. There is this basic views and there is this advanced view. So if you are going to play around uh, this Ryzen and master things, it's better uh, it's better to enable this advanced view or you can actually use this auto OCN manual from here once you Once you know more about these settings, okay, and here you can actually monitor the clock speed and the temperature of your CPU like this, you know, clock speed Kind of and CPU voltage is here and it's set to auto and temperature and stuff then advanced mode and here you have these settings. This is a home and here it actually shows you the temperature, peak speed, PPT, CPU power kind of stuff. And there are some uh, other options here like in you know some profiles like creator mode, game mode, and profile one, profile two. You can go with any of these settings. So I'll go with the profile one. If you want to enable the Christian boost, uh, there is this manual one as well. Again, I have enabled the manual one, but I haven't applied it. So I'm not uh, talking about manual one. With the manual one, you can actually adjust the peak core voltage and set uh, the maximum uh, boost clock speed for each and every core you uh, see here. And you can actually use this button to uh, apply uh, apply that core clock speed to all cores. So that's how it actually works. But however, I'm talking about Preston Boost Java Drive. To enable Preston Boost Java Drive, what you needed to do is just choose any of these profile and click this Preston Boost Java Drive. So choose this Preston because I have changed the settings here, so I'm not going with that. So enable choose this is the default and choose the Preston Boost Java Drive. Then click Apply and Test. So it's applied. You don't need to restart. You don't need to do anything. It's actually it takes effect right after you apply and test that's it and you can monitor how fast it actually runs and the core clock speed and the boost clock speed kind of stuff okay so what you needed to do is just apply and test so it'll it'll run a test so you can always use some third-party benchmark tool or something to make sure if it actually runs smoother without any problem sometimes you know this test is now. Is, this test actually doesn't make sure the CPU works smoother with these new settings. So it's always better to run some third-party uh, benchmark app application like Cinebench, uh, R20, or some other benchmark tool you have. So if it 
cause some problems to your CPU, it'll actually crash or, or restart or hang your CPU. In that case, you can actually restart your PC and go back to your default settings and change the settings. Or you want to, or you don't want to use this pressure boost overdrive. So that's how it works. Now you can see that it's applied. Then <coughs> if you go home here, you can uh, you can actually run a stress test like using Cinebench. So I'm gonna run Cinebench here, and you can see. So I'm gonna run this with the Prism Boost Java Drive on, and here you can see it's temperature and peak speed. Now with the Prism Boost Java Drive, it's all calls are set to 4030 you see that so it's boost clock is 4400 megahertz but it doesn't mean it's always stays at 4400 megahertz so with all calls at 4100 or 40 uh, 4050 4, megahertz or something like that so that's the maximum boost clock you get with uh, Pristine Boost Java Drive enabled. So this is what you get and this number you see this 4820. Uh, I got it when I tried a manual overclock and run this Cinebench. And that's what you see that's uh, 4820. And this 4618, uh, that's the new CPU rank here and run during 4618 PTS. You see this? So, this is the new ranking. So, I'm not actually sure if it's like even worth it because you're pushing your CPU to its limit. So, but however, you can always play around this. And if you want to change it, you can change, you can disable it, you can go back to your default settings at any time. Like, you know, choose the default and click apply and test. Then it's it to default settings so or you can just restart your cpu that's it. that's what you get with the pressure boost overdrive you don't need to change anything here and with auto oc you can actually set a boost override cpu and here you can actually change this you can set an offset here so like up to 200 and i'll leave everything to its uh, default settings you don't need to change anything else then it'll automatically analyze your uh, systems and set the peak or voltage and stuff so here I have set it to 100 but I'm not testing right now because I'll have to restart so basically what you needed to do is just choose this option you have four options here manual default Christian boost or white and auto OC you know auto clocking then set the offset uh, clock speed maximum of 200 uh, megahertz then so it works so I have set it to 100 then click apply and test once you apply and test it will ask you to restart your PC it needs a restart otherwise it, it won't be applied so then after that once you restart the resident master will automatically open then apply the new settings that's so it actually works then you can try running some benchmark tool like in a sim bench uh, R20 or some other benchmark tools you have. So that's how you enable PBO or Auto OC on Horizon Master. So guys, I hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.